lovelies. Happy Tuesday. Today I'm gonna be starting a weekly vlog because I have not weekly vlogged in I don't even know how long. I woke up like an hour ago and I have booked and canceled and booked and canceled like three workout classes and I just can't decide which one I wanna do. So I'm still in a little bit of a pickle and I have some work to do this morning. So I'm not sure if I should just like not work out at all or if I should work out. I mean, I'm already dressed so I feel like I should. We have a lot of work to do today. Tuesday is my busiest day of the week. It is the day that I film and edit and upload my podcast which take like all freaking day as well as today I need to edit like three different sponsorships and I have a video to hand in like really I'm just doing the most today so today's gonna be a really busy day but yeah I'm excited for this week I have lots of social plans I recently made a few new friends so we're definitely gonna hang out during the week and I want to bring you guys along if you're not subscribed already make sure you do so my name is Fernanda look at all the PR that I got yesterday I grew up being the girl that would watch YouTube videos like so so wanting to be that girl with the PR boxes and low-key my dream has come true Let me give you guys a tiny little haul, okay? Starting off, I got this package from YSL Which is crazy to even say, but they sent me a black and a brown mascara I think this could be really cool And then I also got a package from Charlotte Tilbury, which is actually insane I'm obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury makeup I then got some products from Tower Makeup Their Luminous Tinted Balm I also got their Milky Lip Jelly Shine On It is in the shade Pistachio is she cute? I actually love the consistency, so this is epic. And then the last thing I got is their mascara. So I'm excited for this. I've recently gotten so much makeup PR. We then got some packages from NARS. I got their Afterglow Lip Balm, Quad Eyeshadow. Ooh, two quad eyeshadows. And I also got a bronzing powder. But I got a package from Kylie Beauty or Kylie Cosmetics. I think she like relaunched or rebranded or something. So these are a bunch of her cream and matte lipsticks. These are all the shades that I got. Then I got this, which I'm actually really excited for because I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross brand and it is their peeling exfoliating daily peel. Okay, next up. So excited about this. I got a perfume from Giorgio Armani. I love receiving perfumes. I have a collection now and it's just so fun. This one is called My Way. The bottle is just so cute. I love this little egg looking thing. Mm, wow. Amazing. I really want to be one of those girls that has like such a scent to them or like a specific going out scent a specific day scent But I just feel like I just put on whatever smells good at whatever time of the day So I gotta figure my life out there, but thank you Giorgio Armani. I'm obsessed give this coffee a taste test. I'm not really a good coffee maker to be honest. I think I need to buy more like flavorings just because I'm picky as hell. Also, I'm confused. Every time I click this button, more coffee comes out. So I don't know if it's done or not. Okay, let's try. Not bad. But I think the coffee, or especially this, that's like literally all milk, it's a lot in the milk that you choose. And I'm drinking this oat milk, it's like the Costco brand. It's honestly not very good. Okay, you guys, it's been some time. I just put on a bathing suit because it's a UV7 and I think I might tan on my balcony. Now, is it actually warm? No, not really. It's actually kind of freezing, but I might just suck it up and see if it like kind of feels good. Okay, this is me tanning. It's literally kind of freezing and I only have a sliver of sun. I think you just gotta do what you gotta do when you live in Vancouver and it's only sunny like two months out of the year. But let me tell you guys, today I'm gonna film a podcast episode and I think I'm gonna make the topic something about 
about eliminating negative thoughts. So usually what I do when I'm making a podcast episode is I do a little bit of research. I always feel stupid saying that because it's like not like I'm in school for it, but like I'll look it up online, I'll make notes, I'll like basically do research, that is what it is. And then I'll do some reading and just whatever so that I'm not talking out of my ass basically and I actually have substance to what I'm saying and I can back myself up. So I've already done a bunch of research on my computer, but I do have this book that literally my boyfriend bought me and it's called Eliminating Negative Thinking. So I'm gonna read this and just kind of brush up on some of the points before I talk about this subject. I've got my notebook here so I can write some notes. I've got 101 essays to change the way you think because they usually have a lot of helpful tips that I might be able to take some notes from. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Get my tan on! I actually don't tan that easily, so whatever. I'm low-key freezing, but I'm trying to make this work. It's like, it's like, I like going to work, but when I have to go to work, it looks like, like this. Oh my gosh. Just like, why can't it have been like this yesterday or like, oh, you know? the next day. I forgot to vlog this morning, but I had a facial today. That's why my face looks suspiciously pale. I think they like scrubbed off every last bit of bronze and color I had in my skin and I look like literally sick. Let's pretend we don't notice that because I look kind of bad, but I had a fire and ice facial today. I went to Urban Outfitters today. So let me show you what I got because I got a few very cute things. Oh, I also went to H&M. So from Urban Outfitters, I bought this top. How freaking cute. It was giving Sophia Richie. Like, probably she does not shop at Urban Outfitters. I just like that it's like a cream and kind of like, not elegant, but it's just like cute and very daytime patio lunch vibe. I also bought this little dress. I feel like this was a cute little sundress vibe from H&M. It's just got these blue little flowers and bow. And lastly, I bought this little bow hair tie from H&M. I decided I would... Ooh. Sorry, Mishi. I decided that I would vlog for a minute because I just ordered some takeout because I'm just not in the mood to cook today and today is gonna be like an editing grind day. Like I'm just gonna edit and I could have gone with a healthier option but I decided to get like Chinese food or something or Japanese food and I got so much of it because I thought why not have it for like leftovers. Say hello, Mishi. This is what my mukbang looks like. I've got some soup dumplings. I've got some pork and rice. And I think there's like broccolini and like an egg. And I also got these pork and chive dumplings. Thank you. Hi, look. new day and it's one of many appointments. I am in a hurry right now because I have laser hair removal. First things first, which is kind of intimidating, kind of scary, but it's my second appointment, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you guys along and I'm also getting my extensions removed today, which is so sad, but I just know underneath my hair is like literally fried off, so should I just get a bob cut? I'm like honestly debating it, but yeah, let's go. I booked my Uber. I already posted a reel. I posted a YouTube video. I'm trying to edit a podcast so I can post today and I have a TikTok to post, so she's been a heck morning. Might get a little coffee on the way too. Matcha with oat milk from Trees. Happy Saturday, everyone. I don't know what's on the TV right now, but 
Today, I have spent being a hungover mess, not gonna lie. Last night, I went out and had a grand old time, but I kind of died. And today has been a rest and recovery day. I've been watching movies all day. I've been watching the movie, The Devil Wears Prada, and I've absolutely been loving it. But I just got ready. I have an event to go to. Two of my friends actually work for this company called Tea, and it's like a seltzer thing. And they're having a little opening party, which I'm significantly late to, but it's a uh, tea party themed. So I'm very, I want it to be on theme. So let me show you my outfit. I'm wearing this super cute top that I actually thrifted. I've worn it before, but I love it. It makes me feel so cute. And just like, this is me in a top. Or this skirt is silk. I'm obsessed with it as well. It's from Aritzia and it's pink. So I love it. I'm wearing the classic brandy bag. I really need to get a new bag because this is giving high school me. And I love putting a little clip on the end. Is it cheesy? I don't know. I feel like it just really encapsulates my personality. So that's the vibe. Oh, and I'm wearing some cute little ruffle socks and some pink and white Reebok shoes. My car actually ran out of power, so I can't even use my car to go drive there. So I just booked an Uber and it should be here in like five minutes. Ordering pho was always so sus. Okay, fine. Yes. Perfect. Vamos. Saturday night pho. Did we? I cut my hair. I have a bob cut. What the freak? What the freak? Tell me why I didn't even vlog me getting it cut because I went through with it like this. Like I just decided I wanted to do it and then I did it. But I'm kind of obsessed. Honestly, when I first got it cut and I showed my parents, my friends, they were kind of like, um, well, they didn't say, mm. they actually said that looks very cute, but I was like, you're not screaming and telling me it looks amazing and you're obsessed and I've never looked better. Therefore, I was like, they're definitely lying to me. But then I posted it on TikTok and Instagram and all of you guys are hyping me up and I'm just like so happy because honestly, I think I would cry if everyone hated it, which is not the way to go. I mean, if you like it, embrace it. But like if everyone judged it, I would have been... I would have been really offended, but I'm glad that everyone has a really good response to it. It is literally so much healthier, and if for some reason you're watching this and you're like, she shouldn't have done that, let me tell you. My long hair was extensions, and when I took my extensions out, maybe it looked decent on camera, and by decent, I mean decent, and maybe it looked decent in photos, but like in person, it was dead. It did not look good. It was just not a sleigh, and if I ever want long hair that's actually nice, I have to like just chop it and start fresh. So I'm feeling so excited, and I just felt like my intuition was telling me you need to do it because I'm telling you I just had an urge and then I just went and did it I didn't even vlog it didn't even film before and after TikToks. it just happened but guys I woke up this morning so sick I think I got like an infection I don't know from what because I felt fine yesterday but like it even hurts to be talking right now and I think I may have like strep throat or something so anyways what I'm gonna do is go to the walk-in clinic because I need some sort of like medication so let's pick out an outfit together and go over there I think I'm also gonna head to a new coffee shop in Yale Town. I'm so excited I went there yesterday because I just wanted to like scope out the scene and it looks like the perfect place to like do work so i'm so excited let's go do that and yeah i literally feel like garbage also guys i'm so excited i got a new vlog camera which i'm stoked for i literally got this exact camera like probably a month ago i had it for like two weeks and then lost it or i'm pretty sure somebody stole it from me but let's just say lost for the purpose of my feelings anyways it was gone and so i got a new one and i'm so glad because since i didn't have this little camera i feel like first of all my coachella vlog i couldn't even vlog properly at the festival because I didn't have a camera like this and also I feel like although I love my DSLR which is this huge camera it does cause me to not vlog as much as I would with that little one because it's so hard to bring around it's so hard to carry around and it's kind of awkward sometimes whereas like that little one you can put it in your pocket and bring it wherever so it makes vlogging way easier it's a little bit of a mess in here we might have to do some spring cleaning but let's see what we pick Look who I found. 
I got a little sandwich and a chai latte, but I meant to get this ice and I got it warm, which I am very disappointed in. And then she got a matcha latte, which you need to mix. <laughs> <laughs> you need to mix that. This coffee cup is super cute, and I even got a little sample of a blueberry muffin. First year, I bring So good. <laughs> this is me sunbathing. The biggest L of my life just occurred, and it's that I went into the walk in clinic, and they told me they're not accepting new people, and they're actually not a walk in clinic, and they're actually just a clinic. And I was like, your website doesn't say that. And so then I walked to another walk in clinic, and they told me. The doctor isn't there. So then I looked up a third walking clinic and they closed in 30 minutes. So I guess we're not going to the walking clinic today and we're actually gonna go tomorrow instead. Princess Diaries, which I've actually never seen with Anne Hathaway. And I was having the time of my life, and you know what would have made it better? If I had a fresh bowl of soup. You know what does it make it better? The fact that I have no one to make it for me, and I'm the one that has to make it. So I just went to the store, I bought a whole bunch of groceries. To be honest, the last thing I wanna do right now is cook, but I feel like I've eaten out for the past like so many days in a row, as I just bought something else. So we're gonna cook, and it's gonna be the biggest bowl of soup I've ever made in my life, which will last me for a few days. I feel like I can't even talk properly. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I got this bubble tea, which I'm really excited for. And it is a mango pomelo sago. I actually don't know what this is. I'm so exhausted. Okay, this is really good. It's like mango slush bubble tea with little like clear bubbles and like randomly pomegranate and like cream at the bottom. I never showed you what I got from Cross earlier. That place, Cross, is so cute, but it's so overpriced for no reason. So this was slightly a waste of money, but I think I'm gonna host like a little tea party for my friends. So I bought these plates. They're like lottery. I also got these ones with flowers and they come in different colors too. I also got the matching little napkins for that. And then I got these napkins that have like design and they're a bunch of different colors as well. And I also bought some streamers so I can have a little party in Mikasa. And I also bought a microfiber towel because we're gonna take care of this hair. So that's my mini haul from the grocery store. I just bought all the vegetables and the ingredients that I needed to make the soup, as well as ingredients to make celery juice. But I also bought some chips. It kind of goes against the health little vibe I was going for. If you guys want a pro tip for eating healthy, be consistent with eating healthy because whenever I'm eating a lot of vegetables, no junk, no sugar, no whatever, I don't even crave it. Like honestly, I don't want to eat it. I'm so much happier eating what I'm eating because I feel so great. But the minute I fall off and I start eating out, all I crave is eating out and eating junk. So you have to like kind of honestly avoid it and go on like a little cleanse and then you're not going to want to have it again. But like I said, I've been eating unhealthy for like the past week and now all I want is junk. I also bought some blueberries and I bought this Moroccan hummus. This is my favorite hummus ever. I also bought some couscous salad. That's basically it. Now I have to cook. I really don't want to. Where's my mommy? <laughs>